Hey, Grace community, we have some uh, pretty exciting news that uh, we've been yeah. talking about for, for a while, but we wanted to put it on video, and I got uh, Pastor Tannen here with us, and uh, we are going to be planning a church in, in Elkhart, and it comes out of a, a time of prayer, it comes out of the Lord just kind of moving in our hearts for a long time, wanting to reach the 200,000 people that would say, we really don't have a church in Elkhart County. But Tannen, why don't you share kind of how it, it birthed out of your heart. Yeah, a couple years ago, um, you guys, a lot of you remember this, we, we had our building campaign here and then we were even praying uh, that God would use our church to continue reaching even further and beyond, um, as Jim said, that those 200,000 people in Elkhart County. And um, it put a burden on our hearts, some opportunities arose uh, for us to seek out an opportunity yeah. um, on the south side of Elkhart. And just through 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 prayer, um, conversation, um, God opened the doors, and uh, I had a, a burden on my heart um, for that area um, and for this ministry. And and so I'm very very excited. It's, it's an area um, that that needs uh, needs hope, um, and we want to step in as as a church um, to to bring people together and to provide. Um, just humble service to that area. So Tana, like, so that means like, you're going to be a campus pastor. So I'm going to be the <laughs> campus pastor. So How are you going to do that and be I, a children's pastor? What's, yeah. what's happening, dude? Yeah, yeah. So it, it's the last five years I have loved being the children's pastor here at Grace Community, and that's that's the hardest part of this transition for me. Um, we'll be saying a goodbye and transitioning out of being the children's pastor. Um, and so I will become the full-time campus pastor of this Elkhart plant. Um, but we'll still see you around from time to time. Exactly, yeah. exactly. The great, the great <laughs> thing about this transition, the thing that I've really been looking forward to is we're gonna be one church um, in, in two locations. Yeah. So we're still gonna be family. We're, I'm still gonna be in and out. Um, I won't be completely removed. So I'm, I'm excited yeah, about Grace that. Grace Community Church, Goshen, Grace Community Church, Elkhart too. So when is it happening? Like when, when's the transition this summer? It kind of, you're you're, you're yeah. kind of transitioning after summer and then in the fall of the year, you're making a transition full time into that. So give us a short, what's happening then? Yeah. So. Right now, um, I'll be assume I'll be having my responsibilities in kids ministries through the summer. Um, so I'll be going to camps, high five camp. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Obviously, since last summer, uh, our, our schedule was was chaotic due to COVID. So I'm really looking forward to finishing strong this summer, and then the school year this fall. I'll be assuming full time responsibilities for the, the Elkhart campus. So there's some transition here for us at Grace too. Uh, we're reworking the position and we're gonna have our campus covered really good, but we're, we're gonna miss you, man. And um, uh, the tallest guy on staff won't be around. So yeah. I even had to add a couple inches to this chair yeah. right here to set up with it'll kind of It'll all even out a little bit more. <laughs> but we are excited. Uh, we have a special um, opportunity to to plant in a unique spot. Lincoln uh, kind of arms with uh, Lifeline too, yeah. which is really awesome. So give us, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so Lifeline Youth Ministries has been in the Elkhart area for many, many decades. And they have been serving um, the, the children, the youth there in that community well for, for years. And, um, and so they approached us and we are going to be partnering with them. Um, and so that is very exciting. They are established. The relationships yeah. that Lifeline has are deep. Um, and so we are going to be stepping in with them as the local church and providing that piece um, to the partnership in hopes um, that more and more and more people in that area will come to know Christ and that this place, this church would be a place where people come together from all backgrounds, all ethnicities. Um, and, and that's what we're praying for. That's what we're hoping for. So how can we, by the way, it's awesome because all these relationships have been established. The location of the church on the south side is uniquely established. Like the Lord has given us, like he has just teed it up and said, here, 350 yard drive down the fairway. I wish I could do that, by the way, but this is kind of like what it is. Um, but how can the church help? How can we help? How can we help you and how can we help us? Yeah, so we are going to have an informational meeting March 14th. That's a Sunday 
after the third service. So we're gonna be announcing that over the next couple Sundays. We're gonna have a sign up on the website and on the app. If you want more information, that's the first step. Come to that meeting, we will go into much more detail than what we've gone through right now. I'd love for you to come to that meeting if you have interest in what we're going to be doing there. Um, beyond that, praying, um, praying that, that God would, would supply a team that would go there um, to really have a, a commitment and a passion for reaching that area. And so that's, that's right now, that's my biggest prayer is that God would, would begin moving in people's hearts um, and creating a passion and a burden for that area. That's the biggest area of prayer that I would love for you to join us in. So you can pray for Ariel. Uh, she's all on board, Marcus and Macy, yeah. and as they establish themselves to lead there. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited personally. What a great opportunity we get to reach Elkhart County because Jesus is the hope of the world. Yeah. And uh, and so I encourage you to pray. And if you feel that tug at the heart, we're not saying you have to sign up at that first meeting, but maybe God's saying, you know, I can use my gifts and skills here. Uh, it's a great chance for you. It, Grace Community Church in Goshen, Grace Community Church in Elkhart, we're asking God to put a blessing on both. So pray about it and uh, you'll see some more information coming your way. God bless you. God bless you guys.